How I do, I'm also fine like you. <laughs> it's a Friday, and you know what we do on Fridays, okay? One thing and one thing only. Before we even proceed with anything else, did you get yourself a copy of the new era? You need to get yourself a copy of the new era, okay? It's the norm, and this is what we always say. It's the biggest newspaper brand in the country. Get yourself a copy of the new era before we even start with this episode, all right? Now, every Friday, we visualize this uh, column that I've been authoring since 2014, okay? Industry loop. So what we decided, just in case this is your first time tuning in, what we decided is, listen, we've been writing about the industry. We've been talking about this industry. We've been criticizing, we've been fighting. We've been gossiping and we've been giving advice since 2014. Why not visualize it? Why not bring on the personalities that you know about, that you gossip about, you know what I mean? When you play pool at the bars, when you sit at the car wash, when you're having these conversations about music and when you're having these debates about who's the best, why not bring on the actual people and bring them on this couch and have a conversation about, about, about what they did and ask them the right question. And today we're going to do exactly that. Now this gentleman, I've been thinking about how I need to introduce this man, okay? And let me just tell you, uh, even I, as an experienced broadcaster, as an experienced MC, I, I don't know how to introduce this guy. All I can tell you is, this guy is literally the godfather of your favorite goat. Think about it again. I'll write it back again. This guy is the godfather of your favorite goat who you consider the greatest of all time this guy that I have with me is the man that was the catalyst behind your goat behind your greatest of all time in every single conversation that we've had here especially with artists they point to one man and one man only ladies and gentlemen boys and girls you call him we call him Dr. Marvovo but in actual fact birth certificate we call him Elvo Tirhat. Let's welcome him to Industry Loop. Abudi Elvo. How are you? How are you doing, my guy? No, no, I'm great. I'm great. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah. how are you? Ah, no, man. <laughs> Listen, first things first, before we start anything with anything oh. else, man. Take me, bro. They say that you need to appreciate your legends. They need to, you need to appreciate uh, um, the people that have paved the way uh, while they are still alive. There's a lot of people that died, bro, in this industry, in Namibia and in terms of the continent. Yes. Us right now, everyone, production team, uh, our producer, everyone here, we want to give you your flowers because <laughs> yes, yes. it's because Thank of you. you that we have K Boss, <sighs> it's because of you that we have Glow, it's because of you that we have Gaza, Dog, uh, King TD now, and, and all these amazing brands that have shaped the sound. And the landscape of Namibia. So, almost come and come and give you my hand through. <laughs> thank, um, you, thank, thank you, you so much, Buta. Yeah, I do appreciate also everybody who was there mm. during the time of well, was we were busy working yeah. off all that. So, it's, let me also appreciate all the other producers and others mm. being there for me. So, let's talk about this. Like I said, every single person that we bring on this day, on this on this couch, yeah, there's one name that comes on, and yeah. that name is Elvo. Yes. So come on, what ever the story man. Like you, <laughs> you started in the in the in the early nineties. Yes. Walk us through that story. Who who inspired you? What? what yeah. When did you realize that actually, yeah. this music thing is for me? Oh yes. Um, okay. Uh, we were we were on the nineties. Yeah, nineties, right? yeah, early nineties. Okay, okay, yeah. Very very uh, beginning. Yeah. No, no. Look in the early nineties, nineteen ninety three, ninety four. Nineteen yeah, yeah, Three so years after independence. Yeah. Yes, bro. I, 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 I realized that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be in music. Uh, but I, I'm still in school by then. You know, oh, yeah. You're still yeah. So I'm. A, yeah. Uh, 1993. I'm. I, I'm not have to think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Are you even forgot? I'm not going to go. No, but yeah, I, I really, I, I really want to say as is because I don't want to suck up things here because mm. because I remember it far away. I really want to uh, tell you what I do yeah, remember. As precise. Yeah, as precise as possible. Uh, 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 in 1995, I finished grade 10. That's at least what I remember. Mm. So, so let, let, let's 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 yeah. Eight. So I I finished grade 10 in 1995. So 93 should be grade, grade eight. eight. Yeah. Yes. Grade eight. Yeah. So I wanted to be exact. I don't want to just mm. say things. So you guys know I was at a, a boys school pioneer that's where i was grade 8 to 10 mm -hmm. uh, that's where i i finished grade 10 and then uh, first the school years then two years i was not schooling mm -hmm. i was just doing music mm -hmm. for two years and then after two years i went to david per se note grade 11 and 12 97 98 mm -hmm. i finished yeah. 90 8 99 yeah. i finished yeah. matric so there's a two-year period i was not in school i was busy doing music so you started yeah. with music in grade 8 yeah, I, I, it's what I realized. Yeah. It's what I want to do. But you know, I'm still a youngster. Mm -hmm. You know, play around when there's like, these uh, shows, like music shows. Yeah, yeah shows you so you go on there. You know, the old school hip hop. I was listening to a lot of uh, the old school hip hop, like NWA, mm -hmm. and those guys were. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's what we were listening to. Cypress Hill. There's a yeah. There's those those. Yeah. So when the shows, you know, uh, we were just uh, we call it uh, what uh, what you call it uh, beatboxing. Beatboxing. Yeah, remember oh, we don't yeah, have yeah, backtracks. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you can beatbox, boss, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> I yeah, come from that area, yeah, so yeah. there's no backtrack, no what. Yeah. So that's how we used to perform. Okay. Yeah. So you had a group so called that's how no, I, Noble Lashes, boss, man. Yeah? That's now later on. Yeah. That's only later on. Later, yeah. Okay. Tell me about this group because I understand you guys were so hot in the location um, that you guys even went to France. Yeah. Uh, in ninety eight, we nineteen ninety. Who the years? <laughs> Was it it's fine, it's fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I wanted to be really exact, so I don't want to. Mm. 1998, because the you know the World Cup for France was 1998. Yes, it was that's 1998. during the World Cup. Yes, yeah, that's how I remember. Cup, yeah. yeah, World Cup. How did yeah. you guys get to go to France? Uh, uh, the, the, yeah, okay, so uh, uh, sorry, for, uh, your first question was how we met with yes, Noble Lashes. Yeah. The Noble Lashes met in 1990, should be, because 93, we were just, let's say, 92 years after. Mm. Yeah, you know, when I was finishing grade 10, yes. yeah, the Noble Lashes, I told you, was on two years, I'm yeah, not, that gap, yeah. that's now where the Noble Lashes existence, mm. existence. Yeah. 96, 7, during that time. Yeah. Let's say 95, 6, yeah, around mm. there, yeah. Who were the group members? Uh, we were three. Mm. Uh, me as Elvo, uh, uh, another friend of mine. Mm. Well, I grew up with him. Uh, he's from Angola. Yeah. His name was uh, his, his name is Armando. Armando. Okay. And then the third member was uh, uh, Prince. Mm. Who, his real name is Prinzenski. Mm. He stays now in London. London. Oh, really? He's married there. Years ago, it's maybe could be even now more than ten years now. That is not that he's side. there. He's the guy who left, and he made a living that side. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So that's the three of us. And so you, you in that in the school, which is also Namibian. He was also Namibian. Namibian yeah. yeah. So you'd be the big boxer, and they, the two of them would rap. No, no. Huh. Uh, we do everything. everything. <laughs> yeah, we take turns. Yesterday, bro. Yeah, just to to make a show. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I mean, oh, oh yeah, Armando. Me and Prince sometimes would take turns, mm. but Armando was more our writer. He was the guy behind the lyrics. He would write for us. Yeah. Some of his might turn too. Because yeah. I was not so much into the lyrics, sorry. Mm. I'm just something, I'll just be the beatbox and come up with a melody and, you know, come up with something. Yeah. But no, no wonder I was into the production. Exactly. Yeah, but I was more that guy. But then he, I must also rap, mm. you know, to entertain the people. Yeah. Yeah. So then he will k kind of like help me with the lyrics. Um, what, I mean, so, so as you guys are doing now, Noble Lashes. Yes. Um, I'm sure that time was now during the NBC Music Makers. Yes. That was, that was during that time, right? Of course. Um, and then obviously Sanlam only came in the 2000s. Yes. Now, have, did you guys ever got the opportunity to be on the Music Makers stage? Or 1997. Were you nominated or were you... Nominated. You were nominated in 97 with the Music Makers? Yes. You? Yeah. And imagine and it's just... Vocal group. Place. It's called vocal... Do you... Vocal group. Vocal group, yeah. 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 There was no this thing of... Uh, they didn't add this... Uh, thing of uh, what we have now, genres and stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, yeah. As I remember, there was no genres. Mm, no. Back then. Uh, yeah. You must, you must sing. You must be a singer. Yes. So we didn't sing. 
mm. we were rapping. rapping yeah. yeah, so we could only fit in that vocal group. We were competing against these uh, groups. You know, you had yeah. those. There was there was always these groups, singing groups. So yes, we had to compete. Yes, so we yeah. were the only rappers that had to compete mm. against these guys. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the only groups that I remember from back in the day is yeah. Eagles Mentality, is Dungeon Group. Uh, yeah. The Dungeon Family. Yeah, uh, I, I, I think I'm too young to remember all the other groups. <laughs> That's what I yeah. remember. I, I know I'm going now really way back. Yeah, I'm yeah. actually going now way back. I a Dungeon Fam. Yes, I remember. Mm. Uh, the Dungeon Family. Uh, the, uh, I only learned to know. I heard about them also in the 90s, but we didn't. We were not close. Mm. I, I was close with Fidel. Fidel Odell. Yeah, yeah. Fidel Odell yeah. was a was a hip hop rapper in the 90s. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so I mean, let's fast forward a little bit. Um, fast forward to the two thousands, where you are doing your own thing now. Yeah. Right. You're doing your own thing. You have you have crafted out your your what you want to do, your destiny. You know now, sound is what you want to do. Mm. Right. Mm. How? Who was your first artist that you said, okay, I can actually do this thing on a national scale? Who was the first artist that blew up because of your work, where you said you produced for this guy, and snap. This guy's music went viral. It's on. It's playing on. What was the uh, the, the the shows back then? Penduka Kute and, and those things. Mm. And he's performing everywhere with the songs that you produced. Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you mean like my first production yes, that went yes. viral? That went viral. Yeah. Uh, uh, that was. That should be now in the year two thousand and two. Mm. Two thousand and one. Two thousand and one. I was working with Fuka Duka. Huka Duka. Yeah. Oh, you guys remember Huka? Of course, bro. Uh, we love music here. Yeah. yeah, Huka, I think uh, yeah. that's one of the first dudes. That's one of the first dudes. If you talk about viral, let's say viral in that year. In that, in yeah, that year. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, the, our, our type of viral yes, was yeah, now, yeah. you know, our viral, how I understand viral those times is is when at least you 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 were interviewed on TV at least, exactly. you know, yeah, that was our type of viral, yeah. not, not music sales. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. we're not talking about music sales now, yeah. so we, let's talk about uh, being out there and being exposed. Yes, it was the, the hookah. Uka Duka. Mm. <laughs> I call him Uka Duka, Uka Solo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he always used to come with those names, yeah, yeah so yeah. I was producing for him. Mm. Uh, Dore. Dore? Uh, yes, yeah. You so I produced, Dore? I, I produce all this stuff. <laughs> I'm the producer for Dore. I'm actually Dore's producer. Yeah. I was Dore's producer. This is what, what, what come from mm. the two... I produced uh, it. That, that, that I'm that. the one who produced You're it. You're the one who was yes. behind it. Yeah. Yesterday. Yeah, just at that time people didn't know. So yeah, because there was yeah. not viral. Our viral was, was like I said, when you at least interview or yeah, you... Yeah, yeah. 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 Back then though, like, did they ever care about the producers or was it just the artists? Yeah, it, it's, it's the producer, it's... No, it was just the artist. Mm. Yeah, I don't want to say I don't want to say in our country people don't care about production, but uh, 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 the, our platforms is minimal mm. than artists' platforms. Yeah. For producers, their platform is a bit minimal in yeah. Namibia. Okay, so I mean again, so Huka Dore is in your studio, and then here comes this uh, this these young kids called now uh, the dog. Uh, they came after now. That's when I. Now. I I met them yeah. in 2002, three there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, how did that relationship develop? Uh, uh, Dog, Mr. Dog Maroki, mm, Mr. Maroki, yeah. Mr. Maroki. Now uh, uh, he was working with uh, Big Ben. Mm. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, he he wasn't working with me in mm. the beginning. He was he came from another studio because mm. he only just heard about me, mm. and then uh, uh, he that's how he came to me. I, I if you ask me who told him, I will not know. Mm. He just he just saw them they show up there. Yeah. yeah, someone you know they just heard from people. That's how they come and tell me. So, but then but anyway, uh, uh, he came from. When he came to me, he told me he was at Big Ben because he played me a song called Number, number, number Nine. Number Nine, yeah. Yeah, he came with that song to me. Mm. That, that's how I... Did you touch the song or did you... No. Or it was just in his role? It was song? already released. Okay. So he, after that, you started working on his other I only started after. Yeah. After. Mm. I did for him Perfecto Tremendos. You did Perfecto Tremendos? Yeah. After. That's the first song. After. On how do we not know these things? I'm actually angry now. As an Namibian, I'm very angry. <laughs> How did we not know the person who created these things, who who laid down the the the, 
PJ, okay, you know what? <laughs> I'll release my anger later. <laughs> so you yeah. did Perfected Tormentos. Yeah, I was producing and then Perfected you Tormentos. Create, so yeah. you sort of kind of... Yeah. But please, so, yeah, sorry, let yeah. me not talk about myself. You see, because I have a mentality of not trying to just focus on myself. That's like I said to you in the beginning. Mm. We were a team working together. I always notify the artists too. Look, they are still, they are still around me. They still come to me. We still talk. Uh, I, I do give respect to them also. You know, sometimes also if they were not there, I wouldn't have got this material out. Let me also respect them for that. Mm. You understand? They were there. So it's like, but the person behind the production and who made, who actually behind the computer recorded them, make sure the track is finished, it was me. Uh, the person who was writing, sitting behind me, you know, I want to make this clear because to, to, tomorrow we don't want to hear who did what and who. Mm. So let me make it clear. The, it was not like how I think what's happening now to produ production today. It's like you make the beat and you sell the beat to the person. Mm. Those years wasn't like that. I want to make it clear. Those years, there was those, we don't have internet, we don't have those things. So you are just coming to the studio, basically, you are sitting and then you are busy, whether you mumble with your mouth or whatever you do, you do something. So what they come to me, they, they are mumbling there, ah, pa, pa, whatever, or they do some singing there or just sing something. And, and I jump in and I make the, the bad track. So, uh, but if we say I produce the whole song, I cannot say that. Mm. You know, uh, uh, making, producing the beat, and I, I think this is also going for all the producers, please, to produce a whole track, it's not you alone, unless you wrote the song also. Mm. You know, then you can, because when you hear the word production, mm. I produce this track. Mm. I can't say, I produce that track. Mm. Let me say, I was part of the production. Well, of the, of the, the yeah. production. But maybe I was the main producer in the whole thing, because I made sure my, mostly of the main production is done. Yeah. But to say, I produce a whole track, because remember, there's vocals on it. I didn't write for that guy, because nowadays, you know, I, I, look, I'm also doing my research about when, uh, you know, when I, the, right the, 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 the terminology, man, yeah. yeah, I'm teaching these things, so I'm also teaching other producers, you understand, to understand where they are playing a game, so please, if you, if you sold the beat to the person, you are still not the full time, you are not the one who produced a track, you can't sell a beat to someone and say, I'm the producer of the track, mm. you were supposed to be at least involved with this guy. Mm. Now you remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. So why I say I was a little bit more of the percentage of the production in the track because I didn't just produce the back track, but I would also record them and I also mix the song. I'm totally from beginning till the end of the guy. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, so, agree. so if you want to, I'm also. This is also just for anyone who think how to be a producer. Please be involved in the recording process of the guy. All the way. Be, be involved of all the way. Mm. Don't just sell something to someone and expect you are a producer. So why I, 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 can, I can at least, I'm not self-claiming here, but at least I can call myself a music producer because I had to stay from the beginning to the end. To the end. So let us make it clear. Of course. No, yeah. no, now no, we no, can no, say, no. yes, uh, you said, yes, I yeah, produced. You, you, you produced. I produced. Yeah, yeah. Now we understand well, the, the terminology now. produced. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So that we just understand that. You if I say produce, yeah. it, I record. I, I'm there, busy. Exactly. I'm also mixing there. Yeah. yeah. So you just understand. You, what, you what reached I mean serious success with the work that you do. Um, I, I mean, apart from uh, getting nominated with Noble Lashes, uh, you, 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 you also won Best Producer with um, Sanlam. I think it's a three times, four times sure, that, uh, you, that you that you that you won with uh, the yeah, it should be three or um, four music awards. Three or four. Then. Um, so you so you reach that level where you are top tier. You are cream Thank de la you. cream. I appreciate you. Do you understand? <laughs> yeah. Everyone is calling you. Everyone uh, wants to work with you. You uh, you had the best production hand in the country at some point. Thank you. Um, what happened after that, bro? Because there was, a, there was, a, you, 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 were, you were at this level, yes. and then for some, for some reason, yeah, it went a little down. Yes. Why did it go down? Yeah, it did go down. Mm. So, um, um, the 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 CD manufacturers, people couldn't uh, uh, send their songs for CD duplication anymore. Mm -hmm. Most of my production was based on CD productions. Uh -huh. Yeah. So when the CD technology left this country, it's still there. People still do make CDs, but this it's we take it as a token. Scale. Yeah. It's not like b me. I'm producing. I literally produce to for this guy to make how many copies. Mm. 
So as I'm in the studio, these guys are already discussing how many copies they are making. Uh -huh. I'm that type of producer. So we are producing like to sell. album producer? Yes. I was an album producer. Uh -huh. Not just one song uh, No, album. Like you want to shape, yeah. you want to sit and shape the whole, the whole sound album. The we are album. looking at the whole album. Because we are already discussing how much copies we want to sell. While I'm busy producing it, we are busy working on the song. Mm -hmm. So you were saying the downfall, the downfall is because that stopped. When that stopped, it became, uh, what do you call now, with the social media? Yeah, you know, streaming uh, and... Yeah, it becomes streaming and those. Yeah, yeah. So you, you can't make money out of streaming. Yeah. I don't know by now, I sorry, maybe I might be mistaken, maybe now I don't know. But as far as I can concern, yeah. Yeah. you don't make money out of streaming music in Namibia. The, as far as I concern. I don't know how much money others make now. Uh, or, or do they do make money out of streaming? Maybe they do, maybe there's another form of what they do now. But as when that stopped, it went to streaming, but it was totally new to us. And it took a lot of you, I'm talking now in the year of 2012, that, you know, around that, yeah. 2012. So it's a couple of years, so you should know it's, it, the cities are getting lesser, yeah. artists are selling lesser, things are getting lesser, uh, artists coming to studio lesser, prices are, has to go down. Yeah. My prices must go down. Exactly. So and I'm gonna. Because, I, I so am gonna go down. You're at a certain level, man. Yeah. Your pricing yeah. was at a certain level. Yeah. Now this factor is bringing. Yeah. It there down. was no yeah. two stories when an artist come in the studio and said, "I want this." this. There's also two stories. You put the price. We do this so much. No, no problem. But we do. We work. There's no two or complaining. No, I don't. Ah, uh, nothing. We just work. Everybody is sorted. Because this person also saw that he knows already, if I work with this Elvo, that is the type of producer I was when they came to me. They knew I can come to Elvo because I know I can sell more copies. Mm. That's the only reason why I was there. The, the name now let us be clear, yeah. Had, had credibility. Yeah, that, that is the reason why I was there. I just wanted to be clear and straightforward. Yeah. I was there in that early 2000 because a lot of CDs sold. Yeah, I, I, but we can mention those albums. Okay. I don't have a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Hold that thought. Um, I think... I'm still I'm still infatuated by the fact that you that you work with uh, Dore. Uh, yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and task our producer to try and find Dore's song song somewhere. <laughs> yeah. To try and find Dore's song somewhere, and uh, and then we will play it for you. We'll take a small break, and we'll be back. I'm the one before. singing also in there. You are the one singing also yes. in the song. Yeah. Um, <laughs> these kids they come from the Tura. It's That's me you. singing there. Ah, yes. uh, now we gotta hear the song. Now yeah. we gotta hear the song, and we will listen to it differently now, knowing that yesterday it was actually Elvo that yeah. was on the hook. I, I, I was on the hook. <laughs> I'm the one singing the hook. Stick around, don't go anywhere. It's in the loop with the NSK with our superstar guest Elvo. <laughs>
Welcome back, the Inner Shilubo, the NSK, visualizing this column that I've been, uh, I've had the honor of anchoring uh, since uh, 2014. And today we have a man that literally shaped or helped in his context, the way he explained it, helped shape the production and the sound yeah, yes. of the Namibian sound since the early 90s. All right, it's Mr. Elva, Dr. Mavovo, that's in the studio. Real quick, um, the, 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 the nickname Dr. Mavovo. Yes. Explain that to me real quick. Where yeah. did it come from? What does it mean? It came from uh, Gazlam. Oh, Gazlam? Yes. Gazlam bestowed it on you? Yes. Uh -huh. He gave me that name. I produced the song of him, Piki Piki. Uh -huh. I don't know if you guys really know that. Yesterday, uh, you produced Piki yes, Piki. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah. so in yeah. production now. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, that's why I'm saying again, we produce, we yeah. was in the yeah, studio. But I, I'm just saying so you know, now, understand of course, the. Of course. Yeah, so I also produced that. So yeah, produce so in the, the production people. element or in the production process, you guys connected, and then oh. uh, in that heat of moment, I'm just saying, yeah, man, this one's oh. a doctor D. Yes. Yeah, Dr. Mavo. He, that's why he made because uh, where the whole name actually come is that, uh, 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 of course, I first got the name. Uh, the, the, in the uh, in the early 2000 with the Einstein with the Matongo families. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah, you know they will always. The Einstein. Yeah, well, uh. let's go to Einstein. Uh. <laughs> so I I was birthed by that name. So where Gaza later on was like also you know trying to go with that name. But then it was Gaza was like Neman. But try you are the one who talked us us. Mm -hmm. You know when we are sick we come to you. <laughs> yeah. You are a doctor. You. Yeah. Then he started no doctor Mavovo. You are like a you know you, you what you call those doctors were the bush doctors. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You always have a medicine, man. But the medicine, yeah. yeah the, the, the traditional yeah, I, I think it's maybe the where Mavovo name. You must ask him. Yeah. <laughs> but I think it's how we explain. You know, Mavovo sounds like those guys. Yeah, you yeah, just so make something, you, you <laughs> and then, and then everything the works. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, you know, it, yeah. yeah. So, in music, I'm apparently that type of doctor. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. No, and, and listen, uh, uh, my good doctor, uh, you have done the work. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Amazing. Yeah, so, it just just to explain, yeah. So, that, we'll, was, that was how that we, name. We'll come back to guys in a in a, in a bit, but I really want to touch on your on your personal life, yes. uh, uh, um, uh, um, Elvo. Um, you were raised by a single mother, or in a situation of, 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 of mother and father. Uh, mother and father. Yes. Okay. Your father was present all the way. No, till I was matric, then mm. he passed on. And then he passed on. Yeah, that was a long time ago, the 1999, 2000. Days. Yeah. Um, I mean, how did, how did that how did that affect you? Because you know, I mean, yeah. like, because you're a teenage boy, you're doing this music. You, I mean, you, you are on, you on a cusp of something special, and then your father passes on. Yeah, look for my father. Uh, 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 did he, uh, I'll be honest to you. Look for my father. There, there was a time he was a bit away from home, where we were a bit of our mother alone. You know, there was a couple of years, I think three or four years. He was not with. They were still together with my mother, but yeah. they were not close. Yeah, they're, they're still staying together mm -hmm. at one place. So I was a little bit more of my mother there. Let me just be honest there. But the, 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 the two of them were still married, you know. But uh, uh, my father will be up and down and stuff. And then uh, the, 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 what hurt me the most way he left, I, I only felt it then when he left because he's the guy who taught me uh, 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 how to, you know, to build a studio, you need to have electronic background. So my father was an electronic technician. Uh -huh. So I, you know, what it touched me, you know, because it's what I inherited from him. If it wasn't for him, guys, I wouldn't also have built my own studio. Mm -hmm. So that's, you, you know, if you would have had to ask me, how did I have my studio in the early 2000s? Mm -hmm. I built it myself. Didn't buy things, I built everything. Mike took out of small radios and built yeah, it. And built yeah, it. that's how I made. I didn't have the recording mics and these studio mics, no. Mm. Were well, you literally go into the shop and buy? No. You had to like. I, I opened together. yeah small radios and stuff and take those mics out, and that's how I recorded all these first hits you guys are listening mm. to. That is insane, dude. Yeah, I learned yeah. that from my father. Yeah. If it wasn't for his electronic background because i grew up with a person like that so uh, that was hurting me mm. you know losing someone like that so but you know i you, you won't feel that time but you know when the person is gone it's not touching you of yeah. course yeah, yeah i mean the reason why i asked you about about your father is because i mean it's no secret that today in our country elbow mm. um because you're a father yourself yes um, <laughs> um today it's 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 especially in our country yeah uh, we, we have a problem with fatherhood yeah, of course. Yeah, it's 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 either it's it's absent absenteeism, 
or it's it's just ons verstaan nie mekaar like the, the baby mama or the baby uh, the, the, the mother of the child <laughs> baby mama drama <laughs> exactly there's, there's a lot yeah of i i know about those of, issues in terms of society yeah um how do you do it in terms of your family structure um we'll we'll get to we'll get to the divorce and all that but uh, you are ma- you are you are married now again yes. second, but how, how do you as a father how how, how do you do it puta do you understand for my kids for for your kids and also have knowing that look you've got lavi here with your two daughters and then you've got this uh, new marriage yeah not new marriage but you've been with kone for a while yeah how do you do it puta and how impo- why is it important for you uh how do i deal with it yeah or because i i'm secondly married now. yes yes uh, of course i still have uh, i uh, because the kids i have with my in my first marriage yeah. with my ex wife uh, the kids we 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 still had to communicate of course yeah i mean there was no other way out i had to communicate because my kids is my kid one thing about me is i my kids are my kids you know i can't i you know if you made them you have you are have responsibilities so i was there for my kids there was times i couldn't be there life was tough you know most in the music industry when you go down yes, and up yes. but at least i didn't run away you know where i was missing for like when we talk about the year to year yes. no if i was maybe missing maybe could be a month two months three yes, months could yes, pass by yes. but that that's it mm. you know but that's when i released you know you struggle you then you come back to your kids that's now i dealt with uh, with the first for the, the was my ex-wife but uh the, the, but when i say any problem she do call me so i answer i talk to her mm. and then uh, the kids will also come to me mm. i the very first thing i made sure i made sure my kids get used to cornay now mm. uh, in the beginning when she was still like your, your, uh, your yeah wife now. yeah which is my wife now so i because uh, 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 for me it's like i had to know that is this going to be the woman i'm going to be with because i need to introduce my kids to this to her that's before we had kids even you understand so i had to be sure if i was not sure for her i couldn't you can't introduce you kids, kids to someone you know you're not going to sure. spend your rest of your life of yeah. so i had to be sure of her also and that's why i had to be sure early stage already mm-hmm. in our relationship maybe after close to uh, because we were already like together for almost 10 years before we could get married uh-huh. yeah you understand okay yeah okay. so so yeah. yeah so now maybe a year after already i'm um, you already bringing the kids, the kids to her sure. she gets used to it yeah. used to the kids and yeah, yeah. and the, they are like friends <laughs> you should know yeah, yeah, yeah. so for me i'm not relaxed yeah, i did my part now <laughs> 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 they can if she want to talk to the kids call and yeah, talk call to the kids forward, you yeah. you guys know yeah exactly. i don't have that problem yeah. sofia yeah. that's how i think it's beautiful that you are laying that out man. especially as namibian men yeah, um, as namibian men hearing someone like you of your stature honestly bring it out and putting it on the table to say listen this is what i did this all my struggles in terms of my yeah. kids and, and and my new wife now and and, and so on it's really beautiful i really uh, want to uh, commend you okay. because we, we don't have a lot of men that say this on oh. platforms like this but i okay. promise you right now <laughs> no but it's a good thing to be yeah. married really of course yeah it's yeah. a good thing do you want to stay the rest of your life single yeah especially in our <laughs> industry isn't it yeah i'm not saying it's a it's bad to be yeah but if you want to be single and it works for you so so be it but also it works for us yeah. <laughs> who's married again exactly. it's a good thing for us also yeah. so yeah <laughs> let's let's talk about um your 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 ex-wife uh, the, the 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 previous marriage yes um you you and uh, and and lovey you guys were together for for considerable amount of time yeah i mean there's two beautiful daughters that birthed from, yes. that, from that marriage yeah. um where did it go wrong Buddha? like where where the things where it just you just guys just couldn't reconcile where did it go yeah uh, look the, 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 uh, 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 i'm gonna be as open as possible please it's a bit it's a very it's a very complicated meta but uh uh, uh for me and lovey uh t- t- i would put one and one together we i think it just didn't work out but reason why if i put one-on-one together look i i was young she was young we met while we in school there we got kids while we there was no parents involved there we had to to do everything we had to play already the role of people that is 10 years older than us you know we started jumping into that thing on everything was early you understand i had to play like a, even before we were married uh, we already love like husband and wife mm. there was no such thing as first go out and let's re- we there yeah, no yeah. that part is not you there guys already committed yeah, very early on. yeah you understand they commit, committed was early on already in school 
So as we are finishing school, we have to play already. And that is the years you are supposed to now first yeah, explore. And I'm busy playing a husband. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. What a career. Yeah, and when you must also not understand, it's not just her. Mm. My, that time, my, uh, my, uh, uh, I had a brother, uh, a late brother, who passed on later in a couple of years. So he was uh, staying with me, I was staying with my big sister. Oh. So you understand, I took care of a lot of people. So it was a, so it's a it was whole a family. family. Yeah. Adia, Adia, oh, okay, okay. I'm the one renting the house and they are all with me. Yeah. You understand? So it was so, not just you and love you alone? No. Uh -huh. You understand? So all those matters mm. was in there. It's complicated. It's complicated. She also lost the mother mm. in that time during that time, in that early time. Yeah. So also was great, but she also had a brother that has to come there. Mm. So it was just a whole, it, things was compact, mm. you understand? And it carried on like it for a couple of years. There was arguments up and down, but we were still like this with the kids. And then till on a later stage, as you are growing up now, you, it's almost like you start realizing, this is what I want to be. Mm. And as you are realizing it, like I said, I, I, I'm not pointing fingers at both of us, but let's say she decide, she believe that that is how she want to be, I believe that is how I want to be, because I don't want to put blame on anyone. On, on anyone yeah. Yeah. yeah, you start realizing, no, maybe it can't work. No, okay, it can't yeah. work. That, yeah. Kind Look, of like in that type of sense. There is a, there is a, there is a standing, um, should I call it perception? Yeah. Um, that I need you to clear for us. Yes. Because you know this platform is about owning your truth. Of course. Okay. There's a standing perception, there's a standing rumor, should I call it. And it has always been a conversation. It has always been mentioned whenever the name of, uh, of, of you and Lavi come on. Yeah. And the blame was always put on, on uh, supposed involvement with Gaza. Can you clear this up for us, Buddha? Um, is this true? Was, was there a situation where um, Gaza was uh, one of the factors why things didn't work out. Um, is this just a rumor? Is this just some street talk? Or is there some truth in it? And please re understand this, right? In your truth, this is a national platform, right? Um, we will extend that grace to Gaza or to Lavi to say, listen, please come and come clear up also and bring your side of the story. Um, clear this up for us. Was Gaza involved in the breakup of your marriage with Lavi? I don't have proof. Mm. But so, you've heard of the rumors? Yeah. I have no proof. So uh, I can't point out to that because I will be asked to give out proof. Mm. You understand? So uh, uh, Lavi was, uh, was doing many, she was working for GMP. Mm. Uh, she also, she was working for GMP? Yes. Okay. At least that I can tell you. Mm. Um, but further on, I, I have no proof. Did so you ask her about it? They let them, I think it's best, let them talk about it. If they say no, then let it be. Mm. Now, moving forward, you have your beautiful new wife now. Yeah. You just wed her, uh, Osi Corne, and you've been with her for 10 years. Yeah. She had to pick Almost, you up yeah, when you this. were at your lowest. Yes, I was, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I guess I, I'm not even, I will tell you guys straight, listen, I was on my lowest, lowest, I was almost like a drunkard, you understand, I fall, and that's the reason why I told you why I jump into the whole alcohol thing, I became crazy, it's because remember I didn't have an early life, Yeah. Yes. so as I come out of there, it's like I'm a teenager for the first time, the first time, yeah. So, so you should understand now. Alcohol abuse. It's now Clubs club alcohol. in and out, sunrise, and mm. now she had dealt with that. Mm. So our relationship was up and in and out. Mm. But I never knew this is going to be, this is the person that's going to, but she, she uh, 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 it's not like an owing, owing story, but uh, I am guilty. Uh, for my first marriage, mm. I cannot put fingers, mm. but this one, yeah. I'm the one who's guilty, not her. Yeah. She's the innocent one. Yeah. I'm the one who messed up. Yeah. And she's keep on waiting. Yeah. I run away, she wait. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, because yeah. you're still dealing with the previous issue and you are now yeah. uh, So, So alcohol. it's going to be unfair if I say, you know, we both are uh, not she. She never, she was not a, she didn't drink, she didn't go out, nothing. I'm the one doing those things mm. for her now. 
Yeah. She has a right to tell me that, but n not not on my other marriage. Nobody can claim that one. Coming back to the music, is that why we are not driving a Bentley, Elvo? Because you are like the Dr. Dre of this country. You are like the you 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 are like the man. Who, what other name can I bring up here? You 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 are like the baby face of 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 this industry. Yeah. Naturally, you should be having a triple story. Naturally, you should be having a street name after you. Naturally, you should uh, outside right now. There should be a Bentley Park there. Mm. Um, are you? Can you? Is it? Can you contribute that era, that that era of after the marriage and yeah. abusing alcohol? Yeah. Will you contribute that to you not having these assets today? Yeah. The, what, what, it, what played a big role also of me is because of the fact that I lost most now also a lot during my divorce. Yes. The divorce took about more than a year. A year and a half, mm. so you should also understand that. So, in the meanwhile, I'm also being crazy this side. Mm. It also contributes. I'm also guilty. I can't just blame, but I think it carried on with me like for four years. Mm. So, uh, the, that time, Min Kona is like, you know, you just know the person, you're like friends. Mm. Just come there and, you know, kind of like, we're well, totally 100% serious, but we are there dating, but also is off and on. It's like this. But I never knew this person had this patient for me. You know, it's because of that maybe I started like no man. I have to be with someone. You know, you realize this is really. But, but like I'm saying, uh, what contributed a lot actually more so you're not is having this for not having what? yeah of what I want is because first of all, uh, of course, the industry changed. Cities are out. I couldn't fall back there. Because everything happened at the same time. Yes. It's divorce, it's the CD story. And the, yeah, the all that happened in one thing. My brother also passed on ah. yeah, during 2009-10 day. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Remember, I'm going through divorce while I'm also here crying of my brother's death. Also, everything at the same time. I'm dealing with almost four things at the same time. Yeah. So, <laughs> you understand? So, uh, don't you think I will not be... You know, I, I even came to a point where I, I, I wanted to take my life. I was on that edge. Did you try to? I was trying, but not, not to the point where, you know, I literally, sometimes I, I, I will drink in such a way where I will just lie and then I just want to die. You understand? Yes. I, I, I saw like death in front of me. I wanted to take. So yes, that I, I, that is that period. Because it's too much, much for me to handle and I, I don't know where to. You understand? And also you didn't... Yeah. So really it took me four years to get out of it. To get out of yeah, it. I, yeah. I was stuck in that ball Cycle, yeah. yeah up till 2014 15 mm -hmm. i'm now becoming like an like elvo again yeah i'm only it's opening my eyes yeah, yeah. yeah. so Open whatever i did mind. during yeah and with the help sometimes she will be there i even leave her mm -hmm. ah, okay you yeah. see i'm guilty yeah. Yeah. yeah i run because i'm totally i'm not okay she will be there waiting for me i can't fall in the house drunk like this but uh, one one thing i never do i, I want you guys to know that since uh, uh but uh, i'm a man i I don't lie my hands ever on a woman. Mm. I just want you guys to know that. Mm. I never. Mm. Okay, they say you know, they never say the word never. Mm. Sometimes you know, but when you say, you know, you can st you you go there and, the yeah, yeah. The but I don't beat up woman mm. where you really physically see the scar and the person must go towards. Mm. I have never done that mm. in my life. My father was so strict to us. <laughs> you go close to a girl, you'll be beaten. Yeah. So I, I was grew up with that mentality. So, but what I did bad to her is like coming drunk there, you know, lie there, she's there crying. I don't care, next, tomorrow morning, I'm running away again. But she's just there, you understand, yeah. waiting. So uh, 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 it carried on, like, like I said, yeah. almost four years after my divorce. My divorce took a whole year. After that year, I started yeah. meeting her most now. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I And then four years after, only I started realizing who am I? I I'm losing her. Yeah. I have to. So now, Dr. Marvo was yeah. back now. Yeah, after right. that four years. After the four years. Yeah. So I can't tell you anything in that four years. I'm yeah, yeah, because it's confused. Very blurry. It's blurry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Dr. Bavo was back. You are slowly but surely now understanding, okay, look, um, you need to do the you, I must get, get back in the where, game. To where you are now. 14, 2014, 15. 15 a day. Yeah. Who did you work with? Who, who was your yeah. landmark? Who did you get employed with? Who who were you working with now after that after that season? Twenty fifteen now. I am now uh, at, uh, 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 let me just remember. Is the deal done? Is it uh, no, no, deal done. Yeah. Deal done productions. Uh -huh. It was in 2000 ish, but the dates, ne? Uh, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's during, look, 
uh, I'm sorry to say this, but Dildan is while I was is going that, through. Yeah, I was working with Dildan while I'm crazy. While you are crazy. You, I wish you guys could yeah. go in that that company of of uh, Antonio. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we were drinking like crazy. Yeah. And he will yeah. tell you. But at least I, I helped a boy there, uh, MJ. MJ. I'm really teaching yeah, him there. You gave breath to MJ. Yes. Yeah. While I'm yeah. there, I'm there crazy. We are drinking there. Yeah, I'm teaching yeah. him. You also teaching him. Yeah, I'm just teaching him there. Yeah. <laughs> so you want to learn quite? Let me show you. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So I think it's after I came after, out of that yeah. and then I'm on my own for like a year or two. I'm just trying to get my own studio. Yeah. But then I went to work after that 2016 day. Mm. Ne? 16, 17, I think to should be around there. Mm. Uh, yeah, uh, I was with Toivo. Uh, oh, um, what do you call the place? Uh, 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 Leatherman. Uh, Leatherman. Um, what's the studio's what's the studio's name? What is what yeah, is the studio's there. name? Oh my gosh! Oh my uh, uh, pa Pamoja, Pamoja Records. Records. Yeah, Pamoja so, Records. Sorry, sorry, Pamoja yes, Records. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Sorry, little man, Pamoja <laughs> Records. Yes. And that's where you also work with Keynote. I started. No, I mean Keynote know each other for a long time. Oh, from a long time. Ah, no, no, Keynote is most from Masanga. Yeah, Masanga. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, I know Keynote through uh, through through Arafat. Yeah. Okay. The late so, Arafat. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know because Arafat also I know him since the early 2000s. Yes. Yes. Right? Yeah, 2000. Yeah. I was, yeah, in, yeah, I was in the same churches. Church. I'm. Uh, I'm in the same churches. Arafat. Jesus Center. Yes. Aha. Yeah. Okay. I know Arafat before even in studio while he was playing. Mm. He was the piano player there. So mm. yeah. So but I didn't know Keynote there. Did you influence Arafat as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I was already like six, almost five years in the game. Mm -hmm. Then Arafat is coming to ask me, how can I run a studio? Yeah, yeah. So I show him. Yeah. This is why we say he's the grandfather of your goat. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, okay, cool. Um, now there's this realization that the game has changed. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. The sound has changed, the game has changed, the attitude has changed. Um, it's now streaming, it's now YouTube, it's the, the, the attitude, the mannerism of, 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 of the game has changed. Um, did you sit there and think yesterday, where do I find myself in this new change? Yes, of course, too many times. Uh, the whole era has changed, the whole sound, everything has changed. The first thing I recognize nah, is that, now this is what I wanted to tell you after now that whole coming back, yes. I realize if I have to come back in this industry, I need to be strong in something that that people can see to and say why they need to come back to me. I start thinking like that. So the first thing I noticed when I listened to our music, even myself, my own stuff from back in the day, I said, no, let me, let me uh, start training myself. I started falling into books mm -hmm. and started training myself. You understand? It took me almost two years to get back. Okay. I was just in books. Okay. I'm training. No wonder I became a teacher. Yeah, I, yeah. I even started bringing up other colleges, things on the internet. Uh -huh. I'm training myself like this. So uh, I look at the quality, overall quality of music. Why can't music not reach our borders? Why do people always say, no, your quality is too low? I'm not looking at all those aspects. Mm. Uh, wow, uh, what type of quality must you have to be on the certain type of platform, on the social media? Yeah. I'm now dealing with all that. Yeah. I have mastered it. And you mastered it. I mastered it now. Okay. And that's why people are now even calling me back again. Yeah. Although I want this quality. Want this quality. Maybe they might not yes. produce with me, yeah. but they know. Yeah. <laughs> At least this guy know our quality. Now they are running back now. Yeah. They come, hey, bro, I want my, can you make my vocal sound like, because I have to, yeah. you have to come back with something. Mm. Because there's too many producers. Exactly. The studios are all over. Yeah. You're not the only yeah, one. You're not the you only need one to anymore. you need to now really now say where you can sit here now. Exactly. So, this is your niche now. Yeah. 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 So I now I came back as a sound engineer now. Yeah. You, as a sound engineer. Yeah, you see now how uh -huh, I come back. I see. I see. Not as the producer now. Yeah. Now I'm not like the sound engineer even to studios mm. and to some others now. Oh. Okay. Because they would come to beats that they bought wherever, mm. they even recorded other studios. But but at least I still I know they will not go anyway. Mm. <laughs> We have to go to Yellow exactly. for our sound. Yeah. Some way, at least, I have to have a, yeah. I have to hold. <laughs> That's commendable, my man. Yeah, That's but I had to really, I had to master myself. Yeah, right? and, it, yeah. and it took a lot of work. Yo, lot of my brother, I had, to, I had to look at every every decibel you could learn in the books. Look for me to learn out of books. It's not a new thing to me because back then you didn't have internet. Mm -hmm. So you first you can have to buy the book yeah, and then. So for me, it's nothing. Yeah. So now I even have internet. I mean, it's even more easier. Yeah. So I physically, I really went and totally, I even went to look at modules, how students study and what all I go through everything. Yeah. 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 So I totally understand everything 
what the whole modules I, I know, the whole college the curriculums, all those things I had to yeah. go through. As we close off this conversation, I have to ask you two things, right? I'll start off with um, a current phenomenon that we've had. Um, a realization that we've had on this very couch. Yeah. We had a conversation with Sula. Sula was on the couch here and Sula made uh, uh, um, he, he alleged a couple of things. Um, the, the podcast is up on our social platforms. On every new era po- uh, pl- uh, pl- uh, platform, you're more than welcome to go check it out. He alleged that, um, that Frida is being held captive by her husband and her manager, Dr. Mondo. Um, oh, I know Dr. Mondo. Exactly. I worked with him also. That's what I want to ask. Frida. Yes. Yeah. I, um, I worked with him. Because in our research, we uncovered that you were actually the man that was uh, behind. Um, oh. Uh, uh, the, oh, you guys already the discovered it. <laughs> yeah, we, we do our work here. We do our work here. Okay. We, 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 we discovered that you were actually the man. Yeah. Let me not say production because, you know, they come with their own sound also to you. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But mm. you sort of kind of help them with the production. Yes. Yeah. Of 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 uh, Dr. Mondo, the joint album, Dr. Mondo and, and Frida. Yes. Um, I think it's Black Magic, Black is Magic or something like that. I will not know the album. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, but something like that, we are still to be corrected. And there was a question of whether this is the Frida that we know. There was a question of, is this really the Frida that we know? Because the quality became in question. Uh, do you understand? And everyone started with, and this conversation started with Sula, with question, the Sula said, look, yeah, she sounds look, different. Yeah, look at boom, 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 uh. that era. Look at uh, 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 One Man Can Change the World and all these beautiful songs and her time with Gallivel. And look at now, this thing that we have here. How can you say that, that this a is that free? I- what happened there, Buddha? Make us understand, because you were you were mm. in studio with them. I was also produced for Girl Level, so I'll rate it right there from you where see, I produced. produced I produced uh, Shake It, Shake It. You produce Shake It, Shake It, yeah. so you are the right man to ask this question. Yeah. What is going on? Is there a drop in quality? Were you restricted in terms of saying, listen, maybe this is not it? Or no, Frida is not way? sounding the same. You admit she's not sounding the same? As a producer, I mean it not in a bad way, mm. you know? I'm just saying, according to my experience from the girl level. Remember, I also worked with girl level. So I think I have the right to say, since I work with them, that Frida doesn't sound the same. She's different now. It's not the same Frida anymore. So, and you're saying, you're not saying it in a bad way? Yeah, I, I, no, come on. I, 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 I can't say that. I, uh, are you trying to say, I must say she sounds bad now? <laughs> I don't know. Because, because, because the quality is in question here. Oh, is that what you are asking? Yes. The, the, okay. the, the, the I would say, I would say, if you rate uh, the, the the previous girl level songs to the new songs, uh, if I'm an artist, so let me say I'm the audience. Mm. If you're I, the audience. Uh, yeah, let me say I'm the audience. I'll go for the old one. I don't know if that answer your mm. question. When you were in studio with them, mm. what was your role? Did you direct the songs, or did you just help with the sound engineering element? For which? Oh, this now. Yeah. No, uh, I was not in production too much. Nothing. I wasn't involved. Mm-hmm. I'm only this type of sound guy. They, I'm very, I'm very distant there. Uh-huh. So the guy, Mr. Mundo, yeah. will just call me, and then uh, he already have something produced there. Mm-hmm. Vocals, everything is there. So you just come. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I might even just be the guy listening. Uh-huh. You will say, yeah, well, listen to this man. Mm-hmm. Do you think this is okay? Uh, then I said, no. Let me see. Uh, there must be this changes, this changes. But like I said, if if the person is already confident of what he wants, I can only advise. I can only say, we can do this way, it can also work. No, but I'm sure this will work. Okay, then go your way. Mm-hmm. You know. So you can't really say... I, I'm also part of his company. Yeah, I can't decide that. Sound, yeah, I can advise. Vision. Yeah, I was there. As a, 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 a <laughs> look at me as an advisor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they do everything. Mr. Mondo is doing productions. Mm-hmm. You understand? He's doing the productions. When you were involved in the sound engineering, was Frida around? Yes. Uh, we go to the flat in town. Mm. They take me there. Okay. So, in your observation, if there were any observation, does Sula's alleged claims make sense in that Frida is being held captive? Captive? Look, uh, if that is Frida's choice, then she must not captive. I, I would say it comes from both sides. If Frida wants to get out and she don't know how to get out, I think that is how I understand captive. Yeah. 
But if she wants that and she likes what she's been given, then it's most, what do we call that now? Yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe I misunderstand the question, sorry. But uh, really, look, uh, for me, all I'm saying is I've been with Mr. Mundo, I've been with Frida, and uh, uh, these people were very happy <laughs> together while they were working. Uh -huh. I see two their, happy people with their, with their product. I see two very happy people there. Uh -huh. Okay. So what do I say now? What do you say? <laughs> Last question. Um, as we close off this conversation on this beautiful Friday, speaking to one of the greatest producers in this country, Jackson Kayewa. Yes. One of the greatest musicians this country has ever produced. Has been doing music since the liberation struggle, yes. before, before independence. Yes. Um, he unfortunately by, uh, died uh, penniless. Of course. Um, and there were calls for a state funeral for him and for yeah. him to be buried at the, at the, at the Heroes Acre. I heard about it. Okay. Uh. It was not, it was the, uh, these calls were not answered. Recently, we lost uh, Nakale Ya Nakale. Nakale. Um, and again, one of the greatest musicians. Cannibal also. Mr. Cannibal also. Uh, Mr. Cannibal. <laughs> Arafat. Arafat. Oh, oh. The, 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 yeah. It was the Eclipse. Eclipse. Great musicians. The legends. Those are legends. legends. Yeah. That contributed to the sound of this country. Yes. That contributed, dare I say, even to the. To, uh, to, to Mr. The Pedrito. The, also. Pedrito. I don't want to leave them out. All these people, we are, I've exactly. been in studios with them. So exactly. I totally respect them. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not alone. And, and Pedrito, they, all... they, they say that uh, he, he was one of the forefathers of Kwiku, even. He is the one. <laughs> <laughs> see, all these people, there was a shout. There was a shout from the arts industry to say, can the government recognize and say, look, we recognize what this gentleman has done or what this female has done mm. for this country. Yeah. Do you, right now, as you are live right now, cameras in front of you, yeah, yeah. Do you wish to be accorded a state recognition one day when you pass on? Do you want to be recognized by the state to say, listen, Elvo Dirhat is going to go into the official books of the government. He's going to go into the official recognition of the government to say, this man is the man that contributed to the well-being of this country because of the work that he has done in his field. Is that something that you want? Is that something that you see? I first of all, uh, thank you for this platform. I first want to say that, let me first uh, go back to see the type of work you are doing because you, you, you were supposed to do something special to, to be able to think that way. Uh, I'm not thinking any specialty about me, uh, but at least if it has to do with our country, I just want my, the country to recognize us. I believe, at least in my own state, that I'm just believing so. Music, if, let's say I wasn't there, I didn't exist. I wasn't in this country, I was not, I wasn't here. I don't believe music would have arrived as it arrived now. At least that I believe in myself. At least I have that proudness of myself just so that everybody I don't I'm not a guy who what to talk I, 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 I'm not the type of guy but at least I believe so I worked hard enough in this country there was nothing when I came here when I came here there was only Jack, uh, Jackson to was yes. there there was Russia Amma here ne? there was artists like I said the dog was there all this but was the success there there was not you are not having you can't Talk about, I sold seven and 10,000 copies. There is no such thing. You can't make money. These people are living like stars. You understand? Even though I'm not living like a star, no, I don't live like a star. But some of them live like stars now. You Based understand? On your oh, if, I, that's what I'm saying. What if I wasn't there? Yes. Yes. Let's just say that. But, I mean, they say it's most your word or whose word or what. I mean, there's no proof because there's nothing been captured on camera at that time. It's just my word. But, uh, like I said, for the effort I put it in this country, 
for since 2002 at least. Ah, say 1993, bro. No, 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 1993, because you know why I'm saying Because I'm talking yeah. about my production. Uh, oh, professionally now. Yeah, professionally. Okay, right. I released okay. my... my uh, th that's why I'm saying, ne, I, I understand there's people that... Uh, that's why I mean, ne, I'm being direct as how it's supposed to be. Okay. Someone might say, uh, for how long are you doing music? Ah, for 10 years, but you see the other 5 years, it was still just a... I don't talk like that. If I say I do music for, for 20 years, you must know I'm only counting from 22. Mm. 2002. 2002, yeah. Mm. Then I'm saying 20 years. Mm. You, we didn't even talk about 93. Mm. Where I was struggling, being an artist, I'm even forgetting that. <laughs> yeah. You understand? So at least, at, that's why I'm saying at least my country, please, I have I have did, I, I, I'm not saying I did my part, I must rest. I will never rest. As long as music is in my blood, I will never rest. Mm. Till the day I close my eyes, I will still push this thing. Because I was born with this thing. But please, my country, is all I'm saying, Namibia, please see, at least appreciate, that's all, what we have done. On what way you want to appreciate us, our motherland, it's up to you. You can decide how do you want to. And then the other thing is also, please don't appreciate us when we die. Right now already. Please, don't do that. I, I, I don't care. Look, if I'm dying, maybe you don't even know where my soul is going. Somewhere else, it's going. It's just the body lying there. The body doesn't want to be treated special. My soul wants to be treated special. Yeah. But you can't catch that soul that time. It's gone. So please, we need to treat each other like, like there's no tomorrow. Let's treat each other special now. If I did a special thing, why did I do a special thing? Only when I die, I did a special thing. I'm telling now, as I'm saying, sitting here right now, I did, this is the work, I, I don't have to repeat myself, you already oh, told yes. the way I started, this is what I did. So, is it special to you, or is it not special to you? Read it. And then, final. Yeah. Elvo Dirkha, yeah. Dr. Mavovo, yeah. the one and only, yeah. the greatest of them all. The Godfather. <laughs> no, thank, thank you so much yeah. for granting me your audience. Thank you. We are honored. Yeah. Uh, my team behind the scenes is honored. I appreciate this. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, can, I can only say that um, this interview has been captured. Yes. It's going to live forever. Yes, thank you. 100 years from now, they yeah. will know your name. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. I, I appreciate this. <laughs> Industry Loop comes to you every single Friday. We capture authentic Namibian stories. We bring it to you. We, we contextualize some of these rumors, some of these stories. And we, <laughs> and we share information that you didn't even know about. This man produced Peaky Peaky. This man was behind all of the race hits. Who got <laughs> my good? And I'm sure there's so many, so much other songs that we didn't even cover yeah. <laughs> and albums in this conversation that he was involved with. Perhaps that's your homework. That's perhaps maybe where you have to DM him and say, it's a horrid man, please tell us about your story again. Which albums did you, did you cover? Where can I buy these albums again? How do I support you? Thank you so much. My name is NSK. Until the next one, we say, get yourself a newspaper, The New Era, and GMTN. Boom! <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah